and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zedjuani elusives. So basically, with this format, we have a bunch of really expensive stuff, you know, a bunch of like uh, Nautilus and things like that. And I do think that even though Will of Ionia is now five mana, it's just in a wonderful spot because with basically nobody playing Will of Ionia, everybody's just playing huge units. And so I want to play a couple Will of Ionia decks today. So we're going to be playing the Zedjuani Elusives to start with, um, you know, uh, with all these Elusives. And then we're going to try a new Yasuo version that we just put together on stream um, that goes really, really big and plays a lot of bounce. So uh, we'll play that one later. But first, this is my elusive deck that we're going to update with the new um, nerfs and the new format. Um, basically, the again, the elusives, I think, are, are pretty good because not many people are playing elusive units, uh, especially with the Shadow Assassin nerf. Uh, there's just not very many elusive units around, so a lot of these are going to be unblockable. You know, um, lots everybody's just kind of on the ground. Now, the Shadow Assassin nerf is really tough, and I, I wanted to try Shadow Assassin, and I... I definitely thought about still trying it, still pl trying to play it, but one power is just so, so weak. Uh, where are you at, Shadow Assassin? I can't even find you. There you are. One power is just so weak. Um, if this was a 2-1, it would be a lot better. Like, I would be all for playing it if it was a 2-1, but 1-2, yuck. So instead, we're going to play Averroes and Trapper, where Averroes and Trapper will just be able to uh, be a really good blocker it gets an enraged yeti that lets us you know double spell pretty quickly um you know be able to play enraged yeti and play other stuff in the same turn and just be on the ground blocking and having our elusives uh help them win um so we're going with trapper um uh, but you know we'll still have green glade duo we'll still have navori conspirator um our navori blade scout the life blade up there and one hatchling up at the top jewel protector of course is a big part of our deck pumping up zed is awesome pumping up sedjuani is amazing but then you can also do like hatchling or green glade duo or blade scout we all know a lot of the power of this deck like if you have like a green glade duo or two being able to drop a lot of threats in one turn and attack them for a bunch with huge green glade duo and i'm thinking that avros and trapper should help with that like enraged yeti should help be able to put multiple bodies in play uh during the turn to really help out green glade duo um so yeah so we're gonna try that we're gonna try will of ionia see if see even though um elusives and will of ionia have received tons of nerfs we're gonna see if they could still be good in this format that's slower and a lot of big clunky units so that's what we're going to try All right, so we don't want Life Blade in our uh, opening hand, and while this is a, probably a pretty good Will of Ionia matchup, I'm not going to keep them in the opener. I don't want to keep two trappers either. We'll just start with our one. Obviously, Omen Hawk is the card that we always want in the opener. That's the that's the card. Never see me um, but Blade Scout will do. Down from the trees. And see, we have elusives. Get over that stuff. Alright, I think I'm gonna just spend the mana on Trapper this turn. Have the Trapper play some defense. Warm hearts and hot soup. The trap is set. Probably not playing Life Blade. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna play another Trapper and then keep Elixir of Iron up. <laughs> Glad you like my deck title, Zedjuani. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Nothing a little steel capsule. How about another round? Tread carefully. They walked around. 
Okay, so we know they have a 5 plus power unit. Oh, wow. Omen Hawks. Alright, so the next two cards we know are both enraged yetis. Um. So we'll play this card they know about. By my hand, will Noxus arise. They've done zero out of twelve. I go unseen. So guessing with this kind of deck that they either have Sejuani or Leviathan in hand from that Babbling Bjerg. Probably have one of those. Gonna play the 5-5. Five five, which they definitely knew about. Because just math-wise, I had to have a 5-5 five five by now. Because both of our 5-5s five were the last card. Their time has come. So a big part about Sejuani in this deck, especially with these elusives, you know, this is a little different. Born for conquest. Um, with these enraged yetis, usually we play more elusives, but the overwhelm damage that Sejuani gets to do on small units can help us, can help add up. All right, so I would not be surprised at all if this is Leviathan turn. And if it is Leviathan turn, we can bounce Leviathan. Maybe it's best to recall Sejuani, to have Sejuani do that again, to do a, a whole bunch of damage. That's what I mean about Will of Ionia being a good card. Currently. Act natural. I got you. Could 
Could be overthinking it. The also, think about just picking up the Trapper so they don't have a target for the Ravenous Flock and then just attacking out with everything. Huh. So these should level up Sejuani. Guess my Fury of the North's not lethal anymore because of Tavern Keeper. Should have attacked with these. Yeah, also, yeah, I fr Sejuani was going to frostbite all these things anyway. I definitely should have attacked with these. That was dumb not to attack with them. Okay, so that was just really bad. That was me forgetting about Sejuani level up. Yeah, definitely should have attacked with everything. That was... First game of the day, getting back into it. Absolutely should have attacked with everything. <laughs> yeah, I think our deck's viable. I think said maybe this stuff's actually viable. Beefy board combined with some elusives for chip damage. Yep. They should thank you. That's the plan. Wish I would have attacked with everything. So that was a okay, so that was a regular ravenous flock, not the Swain's Ravenous Flock. They still have that card. And a Leviathan. Face me, coward! Destination in sight! Bring these lands to their No reason to play this Blade Scout right now. Nice tea time. You beat Frostbite Midrange with this deck. Nice. Or with the or with the the other one that we we're just working on. Okay, the other one. The Powder Monkey one. Okay, cool. Good job. The 
tomorrow. So that levels up Swain. I don't want to let that happen. I don't want to just let that happen. So basically, if I if I use Fury of the North to save, then next turn, like I'm attacking with like a 3-3 and a 2-2 to try to kill him for 5, which I think it's safer to have a... I think it's safer just to go straight to combat with a 6-6. I'm just going to Fury of the North the Conspirator and have one 6-6, and I think that's actually safer. And I want to do it immediately. I don't want to give them any opportunity to play any more Tavern Keeper or anything that stuns or anything like that. So, so I want to go straight to combat. So we're playing this thing as a blocker right away. In case, you know, like the attack or anything. I think this is the, the safer thing if, instead of just having a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. So I wasn't playing that one drop before combat anyway. I, I needed to win that turn. So I played the one one just to block something. If they just if they just went and attacked with everything, I would just throw the one one in front of something. Or the two one in front of something. Let's see if y'all can... Y'all can kind of see... Both the doggos are taking naps. That's Harvey. She's the one that always barks. And then that's Puppy that you can kind of see over there. They're both napping. Hey, what's up, Enigma Soul? You're stuck with you. Hey, I'm glad to be stuck with you. Three awesome months now. Thank you so much. That's our third sub today. Had a couple earlier. Third sub. Thanks, Enigma Soul. All right, mid range frostbite. The deck that's great against everything. We will see how we do. All right, we're going to... I guess we don't really need Elixir of Iron in this matchup. Let's mulligan both of those. Spells. Okay, now I need Elixir of Iron for the Zed. This is where we draw Green Glade Duo. So I'm taking it because we could draw... Uh, Navori Conspirator that I really need my one drop for. Alright, turns out we didn't draw that. Victory requires a sharp blade. <laughs> yes, yeah, both the dogs are females. Patience. Hot on 
the trail. So basically, I gave I wanted them to I gave them the open attack for five because I wanted them to take it because then I wanted to be able to play Zed afterwards. Um, so that's that's why I gave them the open the five open attack there, but they didn't take it. What did you catch? But I wanted them to. Trifarian Glory Seeker is awesome. Patience. My plan right now. Wow. There is no way I'm blocking that if I'm them. I guess because they're just going to use Brittle Steel now, I guess. These stories were true. Yeah, I guess they'll use Brittle Steel, but still. I don't think I'm blocking that at all. <sighs> so we can pump either one of these, Sejuani or Zed. Still have more cards in hand than I do. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you so much, I'm Nutter. Thank you for the well wishes. Let's see. So I have deny available. So neither Elixir of Iron or Brittle Steel. Okay, now, now Elixir of Iron would kill my Zed. Yeah, they have Elixir of Iron. No, guess not. We are thinking they have Brittle Steel. I don't know. Like, they are super protect protective of their life total. Tread carefully. So yeah, like, they're just using... Like, they, waste, they used a 3-3 three, three not to take 5 damage. Now a Brittle Steel not to take 5 damage. I need just a moment. What are uses of those cards? Glory Seeker is a hard one to beat, to be honest. It's a hard card to beat. Carved from the savage cold. Bristle. 
Duani's not a great one to bounce. Great card to bounce. Pain is nothing. Carved from the savage cold. Would have loved to have Conspirator on turn two. That's when we needed it. What was turn two? Wield your fury. Don't need it now. All I have to do is play two units and I'm dead. I can't even play two units. I think for us to have success in this matchup, we're going to need... Like, we're going to need our two, un two mana elusives... Like, we need to have Greenglade Duel or Conspirator on turn two. Like, we have to have one of those on turn two. That's that's just going to be something that we, we need to have. And then we also need them to not have all these, the Trekarian Glory Seekers. Watch. Learn. Prove your worth. Do not disappoint me. But, you know, it helps when they draw three extra cards with the Trifarian Assessor. You know, like, that that helps. Like, that's how they have the extra three cards. It's hard to beat. Fight what? Like the animal you are. So they just passed up lethal? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, the way to go for lethal is this. Just gotta hope they don't have any kind of frostbite spell. Can I don't think there's anything I can top deck. Because Sejuani only dealt four, and then this still would have been two power, and so then it would have dealt five, so it would have only dealt nine. If I would have gone Sejuani, challenge Ash, we would have only dealt nine, but we would have had two blockers. Then yeah, they have three attackers now. That was definitely the play, was to go for lethal like that. But you see the difference, you know, they just draw the three cards Stand off Assessor. And, and without those three card without those three cards, we win. Even with like the other stuff that happened. Even with those glory seekers and everything, those three cards were the difference.
Okay, now facing... Omen Hawk. Alright, Blade Scout. Not facing Frostbite mid-range. <laughs> it's kind of silly just over the... Um, <laughs> just over the past... Oh, I don't know. Month? Maybe? Probably the past month. Just like my win rate and then my win rate against Frostbite mid-range. It's like completely opposite different numbers. Like they probably add up to... <laughs> they probably add up to 100%, the, t the two of them. You know, it's probably like 70% not against Frostbite and 30% against Frostbite. They picked the wrong row. This is the kind of hand that would have been good to have against Frostbite Midrange because they're not playing removal like Vile Feast. They would just use some Brittle Steels just to save some life. Alright, so Jewel Protector can pump up Conspirator. Conspirator can pick up Jewel Protector. Eh, can pick Jewel Protector back up. Then we can play Protector again to pump Sejuani or pump something else. Okay, what are we doing about that Neverglade Collector? We have to use Sejuani on that thing. So I gotta play Sejuani next turn. going to wait on just all the mana to replay that thing. We'll just pick up this 5-1 and replay it. Hey, good thing we picked up the 5-1. And now I do have Fury of the North and Sejuani available this turn. Pain is nothing. It is pretty nice having like Enraged Yeti as another one drop. Like, super cheap to pick up with Conspirator. I know a way. I'm through waiting. It will all be over soon. Okay, that's pretty big. Now we have a chance. Next attack step, we can definitely do 11 with just these two elusives.
Gotta play this just so we can stay alive from this attack. This is not lethal if I just go straight to attack, so they can just block the 4-3 with the 1-1. One, one. Endure, I only get one Overwhelm over, and we only do 10. So... These things in hand, you know, none of them are elusive. So we're not having Shadow Assassin. Hurts. The calm before the storm. So they can just play other blockers. I'll play Zed where Zed's two attackers, and if they just have one blocker, one blocker doesn't make up for Zed that's two attackers. No. Where's our Will of Ionia? The whole reason why I'm playing the deck. To show how good Will of Ionia is. It would have been great. That game. Wheel of Ionia. All right, so we're just one and two. We had a really good hand that time, like a really good start, but the, the double Vile Feast, um, you know, they don't play very much removal at all. That's kind of about it. And obviously that's great against Green Blade Duo. So that was, that was the difference in that game. All right, we got Omen Hawk. That's good. I think that's Misfortune Lucian. I'm not sure what to do with that Blade Scout. Certainly hoping for a two drop. We just want Omen Hawk, then two drop. Two drop Joke to me. for us in any of these games. Break their spirits and their swords. I'm what nightmares fear. The trap is set. So by playing the other Trapper, I have the mana for Twin Disciplines. is which one of these life blades do I want to pump up? So do I want a 5-5 five five and a 3-3 three three or a 6-6 six six and a 2-2? Two two? Probably the 6-6 six six and the 2-2. Two two. So next turn we can go like 6-6 six six plus 2 enraged yetis. Ooh. Who does 
don't know the name Lao took Bao. the five damage. Guess not too scared of any elusives. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Did not get the other enraged yeti like I was supposed to. Harry, repost, you are toast. Pause the affair. I don't think they have anything that stops this. I can't think of any like so double fury of the north plus six, that's fourteen. What are they gonna have? Like detain? Like they're not gonna just have detain randomly, right? So we're just gonna do fourteen to them. GG. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. Yeah, I mean, Purify would have been a bummer. Purify would have been a bummer. <laughs> yeah, let's just do 14 to them. Why not? Alright, here we go, y'all. Omen Hawk, 2 drop. Let's get Omen Hawk, 2 drop. Let's see. Let's see what the doggos think about Omen Hawk into 2 drop. I don't think doggos. We gonna do it? Hmm. Looks like they're focusing really hard. Okay, we got the two drop. We still got one more card. Keep focusing. So close. So close. So close. Why did I just play that? I guess I wasn't really paying attention. I thought I had the attack token. The with me. I didn't. Should not have played that card. Never see us well, rewarded. We got to attack. Their guilt is evident. Alright, Mage Seeker Persuader. Mages can't hide from me. More Mage Don't Seeker Persuader. Full speed ahead. Insolent cur. Keep that alive. We have a couple other pump spells anyway. Let's try keeping that alive. All right, punished. So of course they did trade two for two. Created elixir of iron and green glade duo for persuader in single combat. What? Alright, so our next card has to be Enraged Yeti. We've drawn two cards since playing Avaros and Trapper. Bow to no one. So unfortunately, Aurora Porealis. Yeah, this is you know a Poro deck with with that card. Aurora Porealis is burst speed. Back to back is burst speed. You know things like that that are great with Lux. 
And those are not deniable being a burst speed. This is fun, yes? No. I'm picking up the Blade Scout, and next turn replaying Blade Scout, replaying Hatchling. I guess I won't be able to do both of those and have four mana. I'd have three mana. <laughs> a good mustache on this one. There's always a way out. Everything's burst speed. Pushing my limits. Can't deny anything. That's a good draw. Quietly. Twin Disciplines, because I can I can play that. So I'll have Elixir of Iron and Twin Disciplines. Both available. For protection. Alright, GG's. The Witcher's Claw triumphs! Yep, found a deny target. Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to save the three three with the elixir of iron. That was a that was a mistake, but um, yeah, I mean elusive. I so that's what I'm that's what I'm kind of saying with how we saw with those games. Like elusives are strong right now. Like there are not that many. There's not really that many elusives running around. So they are stronger than than even the, what they were before. With shadow assassin kind of being in every deck, there's just not really any blockers for these elusives. The problem is they the problem is, is they keep nerfing all of the elusives, so there's not very many good ones. So you know, we have Duo Conspirator, sometimes Blade Scout, and then like Life Blade and this one hatchling. Like there's there's just not very many good elusives. Um, because they keep nerfing them. But even with that being said, um, because haven't all of these been nerfed? Was this card nerfed? I think this card was. I'm not sure. Obviously, Conspirator was nerfed. Um, like they're basically all all been nerfed. Yeah, Life Blade was nerfed, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was a two three. That's right, it was a two three before. Um, and then obviously the the big nerf for this deck was the uh, Inspiring Mentor that used to give plus one plus one. Man, that card was awesome with plus one plus one. You know, plus one plus zero. Not very useful. Um, no, it was a two, it was a two three. Um, and then yeah, of course, deny will of Ionia. Other nerves. Um, but anyway, yeah, elusives are, are really good, and pumping up the elusives with these things that Freljord can't do, we're good. Trapper Trapper was definitely an experiment, and I'd have to say it was all right. It wasn't. It wasn't absolutely amazing. I didn't. I didn't hate it though. Um, you know, like in Rage Yeti was pretty good at just you know blocking and everything, not really getting damage across. And neither was Trapper really getting damage across. They're basically just uh, gumming up the board and letting your elusives win the game. And they did a pretty good job of that. Um, but all right, so that's Zedjwani Elusives. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.